Hey there, uh, Tiffany Jackson here, naturopathic doctor at Eco Health Wellness Center and Detox Spa in Charleston. I'm here to talk about Kangen water and the side effects that you can have when you start to drink it. So if you're a patient, you know we have one here in the teaching kitchen in our office and we do recommend everybody drink the water while they're on the program. So when you start to drink Kangen water, Let's talk about what can happen. So Kangen water is alkaline ionized water. So ionized means that it's energized water. So I wanna show you this really quick. Most people are drinking this clumpy, I call it toxic tap water. Um, this is a bunch of chlorine and fluoride and other toxins that has been bound to the H um, hydrogen and the oxygen, H2O, hydrogen, oxygen. So we have very, what we call clustered hydrogen and oxygen molecules. So when you drink the Kangen water, it's going through the machine and it's actually getting um, electrocuted. Um, it's getting energized, we're splitting up the bonds. So now we're breaking up the bonds um, that the hydrogen and the oxygen, um, how it's been bound. And so now that's gonna become more readily available. And so we're gonna have this, you know, very um, stable ion rich micro clustered molecule. So what does that mean when it's micro clusters? So what happens on your cell is your cell membrane, you have this phospholipid bilayer and there's these little aquaporins. I don't really have a picture on there, but that's how the water gets into the cell. It's actually really interesting when you start to study this. So when you have a bunch of toxic water that's bound to a bunch of chlorine and fluoride and other bigger molecules, it's not able to actually, you know, get in through that aquaporin. So the cells just aren't optimally uh, hydrated as they could be. So really you only know your potential level of hydration. That's how you feel that's your normal. When you start drinking Kangen water, you reach a whole nother level of hydration. So there's no other way to explain it until you just drink it. And we recommend most of our patients, they have to start drinking it within about 20, 30 days. You can really start to feel the difference. And that's because you are pulling all of these now um, alkaline minerals are getting across this aquaporin into the cells and now your cells are getting hydrated at a level they've never gotten hydrated before. So what happens when that happens? Well, cells, if you, in your cells, if you are toxic, um, which most people are, especially if you've come to Eco Health and you're seeing me as a patient, most people there, you know, we we view health as either you're really deficient in different nutrients or um, vitamins, minerals, protein. Uh, people need the right micro and macro nutrient balance to be healthy, or you're toxic. So we we have this balance. Most people are really toxic and then deficient. So we have to fix that and bring them back uh, in, into balance. So the common water, I feel like, is such a big foundational piece of what we do here because the cells are what are toxic. So um, there's really no test to do that really shows you what's happening on a cellular level with what um, you know what's going on with the mitochondrial function and what's going on with heavy metals and all sorts of pesticides and really what's going on in your cells. But when you start to drink the water, anything that's kind of I, I, I imagine it like murky water. If you've listened to any of my other lectures, it's like a fishbowl. You know, you want really clean, fresh water. Well, when you're drinking really toxic water from the tap um, coming out of the pipes and you're just drinking a bunch of, um, you know, bottled water with all the different phthalates and other chemicals that are in that. And then, you know, just think of all the coffee and the sodas and all the other crappy food that you eat. I mean, it all over time begins to accumulate. Well, it accumulates on a cellular level. It gets in the cells that builds up in the tissues and now things start to malfunction. So this flushing of the cells, when we are starting to hydrate the wa hydrate your body with this Kangen water, we're getting this influx of hydrogen and oxygen, and we're also getting more minerals because it's gonna pull in the alkaline minerals, hydrogen, 
I mean, sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Now we're flushing um, more minerals into the cells as well. You're going to get a detox reaction. So the big question was, is like side effects. Like what could you be feeling when you start to drink the kangen water? So when you start to drink it, depending on what's going on on a cellular level, that's different for everyone. So most commonly what happens to a lot of my patients is we will see maybe a little bit of bloating, a little bit of GI upset. They'll get maybe some loose stools, um, maybe a little headache. Um, they might feel tired. They get detox symptoms. So that's that's one big thing that we see. And I'll just give you one quick little little story here. So when I first got my Kangen machine, you know, I I didn't really know what I was doing. I just love the taste of the water. It made me feel great. I had more energy. My skin cleared up. So on a personal note, love the water. Let me just share it with patients. So, and you make different levels of pH. So it starts at a 7.0, then it goes 8.5, 9.0, 9.5. So that's the different levels of it being alkaline right here, right? So now you're getting your alkaline levels, or you can just do clean water, which is the, the 7.0. So I was drinking the 9.5 and I just thought everybody should drink the 9.5. Um, when I started giving them the 9.5, people were getting really sick. Like I'm honestly looking back on it. This was about 15 years ago. I made people really sick drinking the water because I was thinking water's water. It's just Kangen water. Everybody needs to drink water. No, when people are really toxic, the older we get, the more you know, debris and, and toxins and more bacterial infections, the more toxicity people have, the worse they feel when you give them a very high alkaline uh, ionized water. So um, if you just start drinking the 9.5 right off the bat, there's more of a possibility you're gonna have more of a headache, more GI upset, feeling like more crap because you're flushing and getting a higher influx. So the, the more alkaline it is, the higher amount of the alkaline minerals that you're gonna be flushing into these cells. And that's what really can create that detox um, reaction. So uh, it can get a little bit tricky. So I've learned to start everybody on the clean water. They do the 7.0 for a week, then they go up to the 8.5 for a week, then they go to the 9.0, and then they graduate to the 9.5. And then that way we're not getting a really, um, big side effect of, of these detox symptoms. The younger you are, the more healthier you are, you can probably start drinking the 9.5. So um, hopefully this explains that a little bit better. I always tell people, if you start drinking the Kangen water and you do start feeling awful, um, it's doing its job. I mean, it's, it's, it's detoxing you, it's doing something. So for my patients, I'm always like, that's a great sign. I mean, if you start drinking the water and you're like, the water makes me feel like crap, well, what does that tell us? Then you have cellular toxicity. It's doing what it needs to be doing. We need to slow down. Maybe you only need to start drinking eight ounces or 10 ounces a day. We're not just going to start getting you to drink, you know, 60, 80, 100 ounces a day. I usually get people to drink half of their body weight in ounces of water. So if you're 200 pounds, you need 100 ounces of water to really flush your cells and to really get hydrated and feel good. Um, but we start slow. So if, you know, if, with these side effect symptoms, if you get a little headache, if you get a little tummy ache, if you get a little loose stool, if you just feel kind of blah, you are detoxing if you're drinking, when you're adding in the Kangen water. So um, take it easy and, you know, slow down and go back uh, down to a lower pH or just drink less and slowly let your body start to get used to this. I mean, it's it's a level of hydration you've never, you've never had before. Um, it's quite amazing.